Okay guys, so before we get into it, just a quick fragrance check. So today um, I'm actually wearing Francis Curtijan's uh, Grand Soir. So that's by all means guys, I want to check out one of the videos on that one. Fantastic fragrance guys, enjoy it so much. You just got to be in the right type of situation to wear it. Anyway guys, without further ado, let's get into it respect to these videos. So this particular, um, I don't know, you guys have been going crazy in the comments guys, I've been going crazy about what has been going on in respect of Zara's fragrances. Now as you do know, um, as many of you know, ultimately um, Zara released the fragrances online, usually it seems to be within Europe or usually within Spain and the actual fragrance releases come out on the website and obviously other parts of the world it takes a bit longer for it to be on the website. Now I don't know if, the, if that's to do with distribution, I don't know if that's to do with um, it being available in that country. Who knows, who knows. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. So these particular fragrances now, says that Zara acting out, Zara Men's Day Collection, coming out at 12 .99. So guys, I mean, um, I've already given my thoughts previously on, on you know, the most recent releases from Zara's um, websites. Um, I mean, again, we're in a situation now, we can't necessarily go and test them out. So let's have a look at this one, acting out 80 mil. Is this the same? I think these are two are the same. Day Collection. Get into the jungle and demonstrate who runs the world. Okay, okay, fair enough. Um, acting out, um, EDT 80 mil woodsy eau de toilette with mandarin spicy and cedar notes. That could be anything, guys. That could be anything. Um, it's hard to really know. Carve your cinch in the wood in, in the wood to per perpetuate your talent. Um, for some reason, I keep, I keep thinking Soul. I think Soul uh, Zara's fragrance, for some reason that comes to my mind. Every time I see anything about a mandarin note, spicy note, cedar notes, that's what comes to my mind. Obviously, the juice doesn't necessarily represent that. So that could be Silver Man Spirit, who knows? Let's look at this one now. It's saying it's got a citric tonic, eau de toilette, fragrance feels, bergamot, pear and palm wood notes. No time to snooze, come up and tonify your day. So obviously some type of, if you imagine, let me get the name up now, Hugo Boss Tonic, maybe along those lines. That's what maybe comes to my mind, just looking at the juice as well. But again, I'm not really convinced guys, 80 mil for 13 pounds. Don't really know if that's what I want to buy. And the issue I've got realistically guys with these fragrances right about now, is just the volume. It's the volume of fragrances that Zara releasing is what really annoys me. Um, but that's the decision, you know, it's the business. It's one of the most successful businesses um, in respect of the high street anyway for sales of clothes and whatever else like that as far as I'm aware. And obviously they're getting into the fragrance game. Floating around, we have notes of, um, it's an aromatic fugier or the toilette with apple, lavender and broxin notes. Now, I'm really not a fan of apple fragrances personally. I know we've got um, Versace Eros that actually has an apple note in there, but some of the releases that have been released from Zara in the past, this apple note is so prominent, it becomes quite chlorine and actually annoying. Um, interesting though with the lavender and broxin, I don't know how that will work. Um, lavender fragrances mix and match, sometimes it's too too heavy on the lavender sometimes it's too barbershop-esque and then other times obviously it's just very light and um, they did release was it no Na no day or no night when that was released for me um, that had a lot of lavender in it, it was heavy very heavy on the, the lavender I hated it so much um, it smelled like a room air freshener um, and broxin notes I mean yeah and broxin's there to keep like a sort of sea salty note there in the base and um, we'll see what happens there stormy day Let's see, Stormy Day it says it's got black pepper, violet and cacao. Uh, my eternal trail to walk into the wild infinity. I wonder who's coming up with these type of um, statements as well. That, that's, that's quite interesting. Is there someone in the marketing, marketing department who says to himself, you know what, let's just, just put out some something. Let's put some wording on there. Let's see how it goes. 12 .99. This is actually um, an interesting mix. Black pepper, violet and cacao. Um, when I think of Kakam, I'm thinking like Hugo Boss um, Private Accord. Um, again, with that pepper note. Interesting one, guys. If you guys have tried any of these out, let me know. Leave your comments down below. Let me know. And again, guys, do not forget to smash the like button. Help me out. It helps the algorithm at least. Um, and it obviously helps build the channel. Now, here, again, I did mention about the discovery sets. Um, even now, I don't think I'm going to justify £5 because in all honesty, guys, that £5 is not actually a true £5. You have to pay delivery costs and everything else on there. I'm not trying to be cheap, but I want to spend my money on things that actually I want to enjoy. And again, the YouTube money ain't that type of ain't that type of thing, no, guys. 
really is not that type of thing. Um, I think YouTube is the sort of situation that if you don't do, if I stop doing Zara videos, my numbers just go down. If I do Zara videos, it pushes me to the front. So it's like I'm in a sort of catch 22. So let's go into the next one, Night Collection at Dawn. 12.99 again for eight, for 80 mil fresh spicy olive toilet fragrances of pyramid reveals notes of cardamom tea musk after the sun it's time to explore your wildest instincts tea musk cardamom um they have done a tea fragrance before um and i believe i can't remember off the top of my head how much that one cost i think that was around about 17 pounds tea fragrances aren't necessarily the worst from zara it just depends on where they're trying to go with it is it something that's going to be a take on some something else or is it more so their own version not bad not bad um again i don't want to smell it obviously um that's what we do here but at the same time at dawn maybe slightly got my interest there from a tea note but obviously we need to see what it is and now we're getting to this one we've got this pineapple rum and incense okay blurring the lines to focus attention on what's important now that doesn't sound too bad as a a cocktail of a bad boy type of fragrance um pineapple rum and incense i wonder where that one could be going is it again going down the dior not not dior is it then going down the vibrant level vibes and just call it something else and put it into the bottle pineapple i'm thinking hugo boss unlimited in the white bottle obviously we know about aventus and everything else like going on there with the rum and the incense note though that's an interesting mix i'm not sure where that's gonna go is it gonna be a dirty heavy type of rum or maybe like a a, a light type of slightly boozy sort of note going on there as well interesting interesting for 13 pounds again i mean guys if you try these ones out let me know but i think these have got my attention this these two have got my attention especially this midnight hour that seems to have got my attention a little bit more and here they go now killing it again with all these other releases that seem to all come out at the same time for such a high price or is it a high price um till sunrise hits us with some um galamdum galamdum cypress and tonka bean tribute to mysticism only brave spirits allowed i mean hey who, who's writing this who is writing this 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 spiel i find it very interesting um don't know what to take from that one. Tonka Bean is in many fragrances in the base. Um, so he's got the flowery notes in there. Have to smell it, guys. Really don't know what they're trying to do with that one. Not saying it's a bad one, I just don't know. Um, let's see. So sometimes with these fragrances, maybe the colors also give it away, but you just gotta be realistic. And I think the problem is, again, the longevity and the projection of a lot of our fragrances now. And um, this one is Night Skyline, and we see now have a ginger, um, a Artemis Misa, which is interesting to me and suede note so the leather note in the base an exotic landscape to be discovered under the stars no idea where that's going um no idea whatsoever um and then you've got your see that's interesting so you've got your um double pack there for um for 18 pounds but it clear, appears that the juice is actually clear for these two so even though you've got the colors there it doesn't necessarily mean that you know that represents the actual juice itself and then we go into the final releases which seems to be from New Tie Dye Denim Collection. Uh, Serenity, Serenity as lifestyle move deeper, breathe deeper into an infinity landscape. Um, yeah, okay. Who, who writes this stuff? Who writes this, guys? Um, rinse Wash 80. Okay, so um, order to let uh, fragrance reveals aquatic notes, patchouli. And that's all it is, a patino so patchouli. Um, to me, that's just probably gonna. So patchouli, guys, gives off this type of sort of borderline earthy type of smell. Aquatic notes, maybe think along the lines of maybe like Invictus, something along those lines. But I'm just not convinced. Um, if the, if they're the only notes in there, I mean, this is going to be. It's called rinse wash, so it's probably gonna smell like Daz um, washing powder. Who knows? Who knows? Um, these are all my opinion though guys so if you're, someone's unhappy about this I mean it is what it is but these are just my opinion guys um, I've not smelt them yet but again I do like to see the note break down before I choose to make any purchases so obviously you know I'm also a consumer as yourselves um, so this one here is rinse wash again is that not the same one that's the same one um, seems to be just that one and then we got tie and dye let's see what tie and dye is saying so oriental woody odor toilet fragrance pyramid reveals apple coconut and cedar interesting freshy apple apple and coconut that's not a, that's not a bad combination actually i've never thought about that in a in a in a fragrance as a the only coconut that i've smelled in zara's fragrances was in the tobacco collection 
um, and I believe it was is it um, warm and addictive or something along those lines and I had like a, a waxy coconut borderline suntan lotion esque vibe going on this one here apple coconut cedar interesting mix again I'm not the biggest fan of apple um, but I would like to smell what that actually you know what comes out from that guys um, some of you guys have commented though to say that they, they have they have been actually quite light like there's no performance from them so um, I'm concerned obviously about that on to the next ones we got dark wash uh, let's see what dark wash has in it it's a fuji um, with um, sesame aquatic and sandalwood notes as difficult as simplicity a direct scent to be worn only by the brave only by the brave isn't that like ripping off diesel um, you know you could do that um dark wash um yeah uh i don't know until, until i smell it i don't know guys um not really convinced in all honesty um seems very light on the uh notes uh let's have a look frayed edge has cardamom black pepper and vetiver notes so a bit of spiciness cardamom i always think of cardamom i always think of yves Alejandro, la nuit de l'homme so i'll always think of that when i mention anyone mentions cardamom is it going to go down that line probably not um again i'm just being very sarcastic about this now because again it, it just for me for me guys what's what's my issue with these fragrance releases is that there's just too many and i think there's a there's a trade-off between quality and quantity and i'm just concerned here that the, it just appears that the whole line if we can see the discovery sets again but there's a whole line here of well into borderline i mean what we're talking call it around 12 fragrances give or take and yeah it just seems to me that there's so many that come out in such a short period of time. I mean, not too long ago they released um, other fragrances. Is this is this the? It's like fast fashion, fast fashion of fragrance, the fragrance world. Is that what it's becoming now? So guys, um, yeah, some interesting releases, some interesting combinations. I, I always like to know um, again who's putting this wording together. Um, the note pyramids aren't particularly complex, so what will probably happen is that you'll smell it and pick up on something else from the fragrance itself compared to what's on the website but by all means guys leave your comments down below that was just my quick analysis on what's come out again just my opinion guys but hopefully 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 you enjoyed the video and do not, do not forget to keep leave a comment like and subscribe guys see you in the next video ciao